Hello everyone, so today we are going to talk about a micro front-end and to do this we are going to use this library Vit Plugin Federation it's a library that uh, allows us easily import a React app inside another React app but in this case we are using Vit of course um, and I always wish to do this and to set up some uh, template just to verify how this thing work so basically i already have this template project that we are going to use in this video and it's the same project from this post from dev2.io that i just written here to give all the instructions to us to at least start this uh, way of your work with these federation projects so the first thing you should do is just uh, uh, check out uh, this from my hepo so you have three branches here uh, three branches the master one it's the beginning and then you have the step one and the step two will be the same stuff here in the post so you have a step one and here the step two as well in the le in the first part uh, we need to just install this library so let's do this let's just follow in this path and basically here we have uh, the app container is the main container let's say your main application and here we have the session where I'm going to put the, the federation and add the first, first remote project. The second one we can do after with React or any other language like Vit or Angular. And here, of course, it's the other project will be the remote one. We are going to change this uh, setup here. Just keep this button. So let's do this now. Uh, here in the let me close the all of this let's close here blah 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 and so on and the first thing we are going to work on this container let me check if it is in the container or, or, or we are going to do yeah we are going to export first so we are going to work on the app one so the first thing we should do let's copy this dependence and install it so will be the app one i'm going to stop this and let add and once we do this the next step will be just give this configuration inside our vit config file so basically after the our react plugin we are going to add this information about the federation and here it's already installed so app1 vit config and after the react we are going to add the federation plugin plugin and it's red here because we didn't import yet so let's import this so now we just import it it's okay so basically here we have the comments to help you uh, to understand this but this is the name of this remote project in this case i'm calling remote this it's a common name that we just use to import and export stuff and this here it's the component that we are going to create now to just export it will be just a jsx button um, and the next step we should do is just create this button so i'm going to create inside this component folder so let's do this now so let's see sr let's directory um components and our file button jsx could be and here is our button and there is no secret here we just have a new state and then the button called btn1 after we do this we need just to add this new script in our packet json so let's go here in our packet json and we already have this preview that just replace so what's the problem here with this react app inside vit and inside this dev environment we need to to make sure we are going to run this in this port okay and this is strict it's to force to be on this port and this preview it's how we you work on the environment side with vit so you should build and provide this app 
here using this command so we have this command here button components let me show you that would be easily to to understand so let's just provide this now with this command so npm run preview and we are going to use face this problem here it's nice to to show this to you i already put this fix here so you just need to add this build here saying uh, this will be the configuration to the building so let's come back to the uh, don't remember where is the build is it's side by side with plugin so plugin here build there okay once we are shifting uh, the port in the command we don't need the server we can remove it <coughs> and just let's run again and once we do this as you can see the files the federation file was created and the remote entry point as well and this will allow us to import we using this port inside our host project so let's do this now and uh, the second part now let's just install the same on the container app so you can just stop the server now you come to here and install it and the next step we are going to import this inside the project as well so let's go here import and import yeah oh, it's duplicated now and let's get our federation instructions after the react plugin and basically it's the name of the host and here we have the remote app it's missing here the remote app um, oh I just put in the wrong way I'm going to fix this so it's here ready so I'm going to fix that comment in the post but basically it's localhost the port we choose it asset and that remote entry the remote entry has all the maps to call the component we are exporting the other side and here in this shared we have the libraries that have been shared from the remote entry as well if you have tailwind or another stuff here you can share it the same way will be the same with the state components when you decide to do this in the future and of course to solve this now we need to import uh, the the button but at, let me import first and then I explain to you so it will be like this let's just import so here in the source app we have the import of the button so now it's coming from the remote app remember that name we give to this uh, component here so we call it remote app and for this reason we are importing from remote app and button let me put this semicolon here and then we can just put the button now mm -hmm. so now it's not loading anymore I'm going to put this button here and it's supposed to work let me check if there is something more not some, not anymore so everything should work now so npm npm run dev so because this is the let's say the main project the container project you can use uh, the normal uh, dev environment but for the remote ones with vit you should use that command uh, with the preview to prepare the, the the fields and provide them to to be imported so let's check now we have no oh, it's already updated here as you can see so now we just have the component here and if you wish to change something for example you can just go to the app one let's go there the app one 
I'm going to close this guy. It, this is the button. So I'm going to put 111 here. Save. I'm going to stop this one and provide it again. So it's building and providing. And here it should work. As you can see, now we have the component coming from outside. Uh, here in the post, uh, you, you are going to find more details about the library. So you, if you click here, you are going to visit the main page of this library. And if you wish to import different projects, for example, using uh, another frameworks like Vue or basic JavaScript or even Vue 3 or Angular and mix them with the Webpack projects because this one it's using Vit. Uh, you can just follow these examples here and just check how these guys did that. Uh, another thing that you can, I recommend you to do to get a best explanation about all of this stuff, it's just access the channel of this guy, the link is here. He has a good explanation about how it works, the federation. And there he show you examples how to export and import the state manager as well. So I hope you like it. This is just a log to my own knowledge, but I believe that could be useful for you too. Bye bye. See you.